In this video, I'm gonna show you how to resize or scale your videos, photos, or graphics in Premiere Pro. All right, so the first scenario we're gonna look at is if you have footage that is smaller than your sequence size. So in this case, I have a 1080 clip here, and this is a 4K sequence, so it is much smaller. To upscale it, to make it bigger to fit, I'm gonna right click over here and you'll see two choices, scale to frame size or set to frame size. Let's quickly look at scale to frame size, but I don't really use that one. So here you can see that it scaled it up to be the frame size, but over here our scale still says 100%. So I don't really like that because if I come back to this later, I might go, oh, hey, this is a 4K clip because it's 100% at this scale. So I might want to scale it up even more later to zoom in on something. But remember that every time you upscale, like you make something bigger, you're losing resolution. So let's try the other one. So I'm going to right click here and I'm going to go set to frame size. So the same thing happened over here, but now it says 200 so that I know it's the 1080 clip that's been upscaled to 4K but I can see that I probably don't wanna zoom that one in anymore because I've already lost all the resolution that I wanna lose. And if we undo again, we can see that we can also just do it manually in here in effect controls. If you don't see effect controls, click here and you'll find it right there. So we can just do it manually by typing in what we want. So I know that this one's 200, but let's say you typed in you know, 150 and you're like, oh, that's not big enough. You can just click on this and if you slide to the right, it'll scale it up. And if you slide to the left, it'll scale it down. So you can just scale it to the size that you want right there at 200 fills it. And you can also click on, so if we undo again, if you click on the word motion here, you can get these corners and you can just scale it up like that or scale it down as well. Now, what if we have a clip that's like this one where the aspect ratio is different? So we're gonna right click on this one and we're gonna to go to set to frame size and you can see that there's these black bars on the side. Well, then you might have to, if you want it to fill the frame, you're gonna to have to lose a little bit more resolution and then zoom in so it fills it. So that's why I just slid this to the right to upscale it even more. Okay, now let's look at the opposite. We have a 1080 sequence here, so that same clip now is filling the frame at 100%. I haven't scaled it up or anything, but now we have 4K footage on here and some photos and a graphic that are all too big, so we need to scale them down. Well, it's the exact same process. So we can go click on our clip and right click, and we're gonna skip scale to frame size this time and just go right to set to frame size, and we can see that it makes it the proper size, but now it's at 50% because 4K scaled down to 50% is the same size as 1080. And just like before, we can click on here and scale it up or down manually right from here, or click on motion, but in this case, because it's too big, you're gonna have to go over here and click on like 25% so you can actually see the lines around it, so you can manually kinda scale it down this way. Now, something to take note of here is that you don't have to scale 4K footage right down to 50% to be perfect. That's the beauty of 4K is that it's good anywhere between 50% here that fills the frame and 100%. It, the quality should still be good on a 1080 timeline. So you can maybe make it like this big and then you can click and move it into the place so you can have uh, you know a tighter shot. So you can film wider and then crop in later on a 1080 timeline. Just so you know over here position, if you click and slide this to the left, it'll go left and right will go right. And this one, if you go slide left, it'll go up and click and slide right will go down. Now let's take a look at the two images right here that are obviously both way bigger than this 1080 sequence in terms of resolution. But unlike video, when we click on here and go scale with the frame size, in video, the only thing that was off was our scale number here stayed at 100 and it just might have been confusing later for which was our 1080 clips and which was our 4K. For photos, you do not want to click scale to frame size because look, the same thing will happen. It'll scale it to this size, but now Premiere thinks that this 100% is the size of this image because it's rasterized it and made this 100% now, which we don't want because if we scale this up, it's now gonna go from 100 to 123 here, and it's gonna lose resolution, even though it was way bigger than this frame originally. So if we undo, and we go here and right click and go set to frame size, now Premiere knows that this is only 27% of this, so if I scale it up, 
you're not losing resolution because it's only at 38%, which means we have plenty more room to zoom in before we start losing any resolution, like a lot of room. For an image like this one, if I right click and set to frame size, that's a vertical image, you can see that we're only at 19% for scale. So I have plenty of room here to scale it up. Filling the frame takes us to about 53% here. And you can see that we're always gonna lose the top and the bottom of your image. So that's why you go to position here, this second one, and can just slide this along one way or the other to find the part of your image that you actually want to show. Assuming you don't wanna zoom in and focus on this like muffin right here. As for graphics, I tend to just go right to motion and kind of scale this down to 25 so that I can use the corners here to kind of resize it like this where I want it and then just I just click on it to move it where I want it. So if I want some sort of logo or something in the bottom corner, you can just do that and then fit again and you know resize and scale to where you want it. But what if you have a whole bunch of different videos and photos and graphics and everything that are all different sizes in your sequence. You don't wanna to have to go through that same process for every single one of them to scale them to be the frame size. So what you do is you're gonna click, you're gonna highlight like this all the clips that you want to scale and then just right click on one of them and go set to frame size. That will automatically rescale all of them to be the frame size. And then obviously for any clip that you still want to or need to scale, you can just click on them and scale them in here. But if you wanna make it even more streamlined than that, where every time you import a clip, it's automatically set to frame size, then just go up to edit and go to preferences. And then under media, you will see this little thing right here, default media scaling. I have it to none. I like to scale mine manually, but if you don't, just drop this down and I would click on this one, set to frame size and click okay. Now, when we go to file import and I click on this one was the 1080 clip and this one over here was the 4k clip and I'll just select a random photo as well and open to import them and when I drag them onto the sequence now you'll see that this one right here at hundred percent was the 1080 clip this one right here was the 4k clip already scaled to 50 and for this photo it's already scaled to 41.7 to fill this frame so that's pretty much everything you need to know about scaling your videos, photos, and graphics in Premiere Pro. And if you're interested, make sure to check out my other video on fake camera movements in Premiere Pro. I show you how to zoom, pan, tilt, and rotate. The link is in the description below. If you got something out of this video or you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I will catch you next time.